Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we're going to do my sinking fun stuffing for September 2024. This is the last week of September and we have some money available to put into our sinking funds, which I'm extremely grateful for. So um, today we're going to be stuffing 1, 2, 3, 350, 370, 390, 410, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 500, and 5 dollars. 505 dollars into our various sinking funds. We're going to put something in every one. Um, I do have some that I have to really bulk up because um, our car insurance, like our six month renewal is due in October. So I need to make sure we have the rest of the money we need for that renewal. And we also have a dental bill from when Caleb went to see that specialist about his like extra tooth that's in his gum. We did end up getting a bill for that. That was like 200 and something dollars. So let's start with Christmas here. For Christmas, we're going to add one hundred dollars. Where's my pen? Here it is. So today is the twenty seventh. Deposit one hundred dollars. So that's four seventeen for Christmas. I'm going to use another one of these beautiful. Um, placeholders that I got from Nyjah at Budgeting the Bacon for Christmas. They are so stinking cute. So for Christmas now we should have $417. 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 15, 16, 17. That is correcto mundo. Um, for our emergency fund, we are just going to add $10. We did end up taking some money out of here for our AC repair. Um, they did come back to check the leak and it was just a small issue. The guy said like the compressor cap was pushing something. It didn't have a silicone ring in it, so he replaced that and we didn't owe anything else after that, so that was good. So now we should have $1,112 in our emergency fund. So we have a $1,000 placeholder here, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105, 110, 111, 112. Perfect. I am really struggling with spending any of the money that I'm putting into any of these sinking funds. Like, I know that's what it's for, but I don't think we've ever had so much money saved and it is driving me bonkers, like trying to avoid spending money out of these envelopes. Next is our car insurance. We're going to need, um, what is it? 13, 1312 dollars for our car insurance so we're going to add 140 dollars today so we had 1171 adding 140 would give us 1311 Okay, so I have $140 here to add. Uh, my money's all mixed up. I know you guys hate that. <laughs> um, okay, so we have two $500 placeholders here for the $1,000. So 
1,100, 200, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 310, 311. Subscriptions are just going to add $10 to. Um, I got a renewal for our um, umbrella policy per our uh, utility company, which is Florida Power and Lights. We have to have a $1 million umbrella policy for our solar panels. Don't ask me why. Like someone's going to get hurt by them or something. It's ridiculous. But all that to say, it went up. Uh, let me see what does it say last year we paid 396 which was an increase from the 350 we paid the first year and now they're saying it's going to be 442 so more than 40 dollars it's increasing by to um for like no reason just no reason like nothing is going to happen they're just collecting over 400 dollars a year from us to protect us I guess in the event that something happens to somebody because of the solar panels that we have so I'm going to shop around and see if I can find a cheaper company but that is the next thing we'll have to pay out of this um, subscriptions envelope is the um, umbrella policy for our solar panels So we should have 124 now, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 115, 120, 121, 22, 23, 24. Oh, good old property taxes. The tax roll is currently frozen for 2024 so they're working on like solidifying the property taxes so we should know around mid-october what our property taxes are going to be right now we have 755 and we're adding 110 dollars so that give us 865 1 Okay, that's all for the long-term binder. Let's go into the short-term binder for car maintenance. We're just going to add ten dollars. Slowly adding to this one because we have new cars so we shouldn't need any maintenance, I guess maybe a tire if something was to happen to one of them, but um, I think we get like two free oil changes and aside from that, Brian would be doing our oil changes. So that usually just comes out of our budget, our normal budget. So we should have $43. 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3.
clothing. We're going to add $10 to this too. I think I remember telling you guys that Brian is like always having to buy pants for work because he rips them. But those golf pants that he bought, um, the last time he bought pants have been doing really well. They're nice and stretchy, but still look like professional pants. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. The next person that needs clothes will probably be me because I don't have very many pants that fit me because I usually just like wear loungewear, like my pajamas all day since I work from home. And the like jeans that I have are all kind of tight. Like they're okay for putting on and like be bopping up to the school for an event or something, but wearing them all day would be super uncomfortable. Um, I don't have anything for date night. Well, boo. <laughs> it's not even on my spreadsheet. I need to add it. Medical, we're going to add 75 because I was telling you guys, Caleb did get a, bit, a bill from the dentist for the like imaging that they had to do for his tooth. And it's over $200, so even with our insurance. So we're going to add... Seventy-five dollars. Eighty-six plus seventy-five is one sixty-one. Fifty, one, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, five, sixty, one, one, sixty, one. Okay, for household, this one's empty because we used all the money that was in it to pay for that AC repair that we had. So we are going to add ten dollars today. Start getting this one built back up. Kids, we're going to add ten to also. That would make this 50, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, $64 for kids. Homestead. We're going to add $10 to this. That would make this $43.23. And good old vacation. Because baby, I need one, okay? Is also going to get $10. That would make it 139. 50, 100, 20, 25, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. 139. 
All right, so we've stuffed everything except for day night. So let's just see how much all of these add up to really quick. Okay, so we've got 43 in car maintenance, 54 in clothes, 75 in date night, 161 in health, 10 in household, 64 in kids, 43 in homestead, 139 in vacation. So that is 589. And then our long term binder for Christmas we have 417. Our emergency fund is uh, $1,112. Our car insurance is $1,311. Subscriptions is $124. And property taxes is $865. So that's $4,418, you guys. That is so much money. I don't I don't think we've ever saved ever this much money. It's crazy to see this in my high yield savings account. I love it so much. But sadly, the car insurance will be going away soon and then property taxes will follow not long after that. But that's what the money's there for. So I hope you guys enjoyed this cash stuffing of my sinking funds. If you did, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.